crafty beauties welcome back to my youtube channel it's me carmen q and today's video is going to be an altered christmas project video so earlier this year i decided that i was going to alter a bunch of stuff for christmas and there was going to be no reason why i'm not going to and luckily for me i've moved into my own place i have my own craft room and i altered something for christmas but before we hop on into that video if you're not already go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's right down there below and it's free it's totally free you'll enjoy the stuff that i put out and if you don't then you can always give me suggestions and we'll go from there but hey girl hey to all my returning subbies so Without further ado, let's hop on into this video. Here she is. That is my shabby, glamorous, altered Christmas sleigh. So, let me tell you... First off, I got the sleigh from Saw Crafters, and I did pick it up while I was at the 2016 um, Scrapbook Expo, and I absolutely love this sleigh. It came out beautifully, but it did not look like this at all. I'm going to insert a picture um, because the back of my sleigh, the back of my insert for the middle broke and it's a really delicate sleigh so you guys do have to be careful if you purchase this i was watching the instruction video and while i was watching it i was trying to put it together and it snapped and broke and i was really discouraged i didn't know if it was worth finishing but i'm glad i finished so here's that insert for you guys to take a look at Okay, so now that we're back from that horrible mistake that I made, isn't this just a work of art now? <laughs> so even if you guys mess up on your projects, don't get discouraged. Just think about how you can... Bella, move. Just think about how you can fix your project. Sorry, my dog's like scratching and making noise. Um, okay. So the first thing I did was I used some Recollections Vintage Flowers and I um, inked them with Tim Holtz Distress Ink in um, Peacock Feathers and I literally inked all the flowers in it um, just to add some dimension. So those are all inked and these are all out of the recollections vintage flower collection um this one this flower was white and this one was white and just inked it blue the rest were the blue ones i used some um stamens that i found in the wedding section probably at hobby lobby i got these little silver snowflake sticker things from the Dollar Tree and then this uh, pearl rhinestone trim I got it from like a little dollar mart in my area in San Bernardino and then I used two different trims two different laces you guys can see I used a small white one there and then I used a bigger white one here and then this is my Nouveau Glimmer Paste. I'm in love with this. Um, you just stick it on there and it dries like snow. And then back here is some more stamens. Bella, you're moving the camera. Stop. Are some more stamens here. And then some more of that bling. Some more of those snowflakes there. And then on the front... Um, part of the sleigh I just adhered some snowflakes to the front and the back okay I'm gonna turn this to the front view so this is the front view I decided to put a reef in here and take the little red bow out and put a white snowflake for the um, reef center I thought that was way cuter and then again there's those two laces back here and then 
I ran pearl trim around the outside of the sleigh. Forgot to show you guys that part on the other side. Then in the inside, I just used some batting and some um, white fabric that I had just laying around my craft room, and I just decided to make a um, cushion for the sleigh. And then I put some presents in here. Okay. I don't know if you guys can tell, but see the rhinestones? I backed them so that they were one on each side. Okay. So then on this side here, I put some more of that glimmer paste to make it look like snow. And here's some more of those Recollection Vintage Flowers. And I also put the paste on there so it looked like the, the flowers had snow on them too. Here's a really pretty winter butterfly. And it was already glittered up. I got those on sale at Michael's a while ago. And I just love that butterfly. I was able to use it. And then here is those trims again. And then I put that paste here so it looked like, you know, snow brushed up on the sleigh. Then I took a few different Dollar Tree and 99 cent store tree uh, snowflakes and I layered them. And then I put those sticker ones on top of them. And then I got this from Hobby Lobby last year. It was a snowflake ornament. I took the ornament piece off and stuck it right in the middle there to give that some dimension. And then that is this side here. And then the back of the sleigh is the part that was broken is under here. And I didn't want that to show, so I took another um, snowflake from the dollar store I layered it and then I put a doily, a white doily on there and then I layered a, a silver snowflake embellishment on there. So you guys, that is my altered sleigh. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making this and um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Leave me some comments down below. Alright, bye bye.